got into hunting when I was about 14. I went hunting with, uh, with my cousin and my uncle, um, so my dad's brother. You know, interestingly enough, none of my uh, brothers or my dad grew up hunting. I had an uncle and a cousin who I used to go spend a week with in the summer, and we'd always go fishing every summer. And he eventually said, you know, you should come hunting with us one time. We'll go duck hunting. And so uh, my cousin and my uncle took me on a teal hunt in Louisiana in the swamps. And we went out and sort of that early season, uh, September teal hunt. And I was about 14 and we went out hunting and I really loved it and enjoyed it. This is one when we were fishing down in Destin. Uh, we were fishing one evening and, and started catching little sharks. And uh, this was an offshore trip that we took, uh, that same trip down to Destin, where Hayden and I, we were catching kingfish. Chad was the first one that I thought of, of trying to contact and saying, hey, I wanted, I wanted my son to experience that same joy I had the first time I harvested harvested a bird. I know how excited I was to, to hunt for the first time with my dad. And the first time he put that gun in my hand and showed me how to use it and the safety of it and, and how to shoot and what to do. And so it was a, it was personal to me that Chad would offer this opportunity to hate. And especially for something that I really didn't have any experience doing. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good, good, good. What's going on, man? Not too much. You getting ready for the hunt tomorrow? You ready for this? Definitely. I definitely have some friends who have like been hunting, like they grew up with it and like they've always done it and I always just kind of like sat back and I was like, I don't really know much about it. But after this experience, like I hope to be closer with them and it'll just be a cool experience to share because I would like to go hunting with them and share more experiences because I feel like that bond will just last forever. And so we're going to come in on this side of the pond. We'll walk this edge and there's a northeast wind coming this direction. So what we're going to do is set up in this little corner right here, put some decoys out in this area. And the wind's gonna come this way, so those birds are gonna to wanna to come in right here and light and then land. What's important for hunters to remember is, you know, we have to create opportunities for others. And it's not easy. Virtually all of us have the same story. Somebody else invited us to go hunting or fishing, whether it was our father or our mother or family or cousin, like in my case. Um, Somebody always invited you to go hunting and taught you how to do it. We've got some blinds we're going to get out there with, get really covered up, throw out a few decoys to try to attract the birds in. But yeah, based on where they've been flying, we're hoping that they're going to come to this pond pretty good. So we get on some good birds. Sounds good. Hayden is an adult now. And I one, I'm still around. I get to experience this with him and we get to grow and we get to go hunting together. What I most hope is that Hayden just takes it all in and understands the experience that um, that we're having. And it's not necessarily about, necessarily about harvesting a bird, but just experiencing nature in a different light than he ever has in any other context. I'm glad we got to make it happen. It's important that hunters pass down what is a shared tradition. And that's culture. And culture is one set of values that's passed down from one generation to the next. And hunting is no different. You have to pick somebody to go and share the culture with and teach them the ropes. I think it's gonna be pretty cool to shoot my first step because it's something I've dreamt about for the past six months. And it's just something that I've always wanted to do. It's gonna be a really cool experience to have. Gun safety is the most important thing. There's no sorry if you have a mistake. I understand it can be intimidating at first. And you don't know anybody. Um, 
you may be new to the sport, you may be new to hunting, and you may not know what to expect. That's the first hurdle for everybody. The first time you do something, you're always nervous about what's this going to be like, and then you go do it, and you realize it's not as intimidating as you've built up in your mind. When I was introduced to hunting at 14 years old with my uncle and my cousin, I was always dependent upon them to take me. What's cool about Hayden is he's 19, almost 20, and he has the ability to go hunting on his own. And so if I can teach him how to research public land, or if he can learn how to go knock on doors and ask for permission, if he can find spots that he can go, and he loves it, he's not, he's not reliant on me to take him. He's at an age where he can grab his buddies and get more hunters into it and go out and experience nature and hunting on his own. I hope from like this experience, like the groundwork that I have from here is what I learned so I can be able to like go out and take people and like expand the sport to my friends and like try to get them into it and like try to get this thing rolling. Now we talk about ducks. I've never talked about that. And, and so it's kind of cool that we talk about ducks, we talk about geese. Talk about the opportunities, what's what's coming up? What about next year uh, after it's all said and done is what are we gonna do next? We have the equipment and have the ability now. And so, I mean, that's kind of the cool thing. The sky's the limit now. So if you're a new hunter, I'd encourage anyone who wants to get into this and otherwise doesn't have an avenue into hunting, go to a, a Delta Water Valley man get plugged in, get to know people, and just tell everybody where you're at. I've never duck on it before and I'd like to go. Is there anyone here who's willing to take me? There's a lot of things hunters will tell you no to. They won't give you their best spots, but they will They will help another hunter. And they'll say, if somebody wants to get involved, I'm willing to help take you. And that's what it's about. And we want to get people involved. So if you're new to hunting, go to your local banquet and ask and say, will somebody here take me hunting? How can I experience what you guys and gals all love about nature?